Um, now let's talk about outgoing CFMEU boss John Sedka, who weighed in on the controversy around former soap star Holly Valance. Uh, uh, remember Holly told GB News she thought Australia was a nanny state and fast becoming too woke? Well, the very left-wing Sedka agrees with Holly. Have a listen to this. I've been told, oh, you shouldn't do that because that's politically incorrect. I mean, fair income. I mean, where is this country going? I mean... Yeah, this is one of the proudest countries in the world, one of the best countries in the world. And if we let a small minority dictate all this wokeism, mm. you say no to someone, all of a sudden they've got a mental health problem because they're not used to someone saying no to them. Right. You know what? Drink a cup mm. of concrete and toughen up a bit. Drink a cup of concrete and toughen up. I've got to say, I kind of like that. But this is the same John Setka who says we're on stolen land during acknowledgement of country ceremonies uh, at the CFMEU before they pour a bunch of concrete on that stolen land. Uh, I would have thought that was pretty woke. I would think so too, Rita, but I'm just having a moment here where I'm trying to fathom <laughs> that John Setka is in agreement with Holly Valance, as we know her, the former Neighbour actress. I mean, she's becoming a bit of a rock star in Australia because she's speaking what many people are often, Rita, too afraid to say. She's calling out wokeism. She's ca calling out all these gender issues among young children. Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. Demonic she little gremlin. That's right. I mean, Holly Valance, I mean, she, she uh, is really resonating with a lot of people. And I think it's interesting too. She's from the actress side of things. She was an actress, a singer. Uh, often those people are... You know, they're left-leaning. She's anything but, and she's really come out with some well, key points. she's explained how she was very much left-leaning and she's gone through that progression that a lot of people go through where they start off left-wing and then they kind of... Uh get familiar with how the world actually works and, and, and realise a lot of the things that they believed were vapid and, and not based on reality. Uh, I think she's married to a billionaire these days. She, she goes by Holly Candy and uh, we're liking her work. Now let's talk the royals. Hallelujah. Kate has finally been spotted smiling and looking healthy, shopping. TMZ were the first to air this footage of the princess and it's given rise to a whole bunch of new questions like why didn't the palace just release a short video with her to put all that speculation and wild scuttlebutt to rest? Their hand-fisted approach, Soph, has uh, undoubtedly hurt the future king, Prince William. No one knew about this alleged affair he had. Now, just about every mainstream media outlet ha has published the details of this alleged affair, no doubt harming his reputation. For the record, I don't believe it for one second, but it's out there now and it only came about because of this intense speculation about why is Princess Kate missing? Why won't she do a little video? Why was the picture manipulated? It, it seems like they've really mishandled this whole affair. They have mishandled it, Rita. And isn't it great to see Princess Catherine looking so well mm. after what many were concerned about her health after this abdominal surgery? It's great to see her, you know, back out and about. They could have uh, stamped out all this speculation and rumours and what have you had they done something like that in the first instance. But as you said, this has dragged on, the rumour mills are being swirling and it also shows, Rita, the media are not in bed with the royal family, it seems. No. Which a lot of people argue, including Prince Harry, that they are. On Harry and Meghan, their marriage has been compared to that of King Edward and Wallace Simpson, with one royal biographer calling both the American duchesses very narcissistic, very controlling, very dominating, and both men seeming to need a domineering woman. Both King George and Prince William also likely felt betrayed by their selfish brothers, says Sally Bedell-Smith. Uh, Sophie, this is going to get tongues wagging because people love to bag Megan. They do, Rita, and there's always been, for a long time, drawn the comparison with Wallace Simpson. Uh, the dynamic among the royal family completely changed once Meghan Markle got her toes inside the royal camp. 
uh, and we've talked about this for years, Rita. She has been very damaging to the royal family. Prince Harry has gone along with her. So I'll be very interested to see what this book says uh, from a very esteemed author who knows a lot about the royals. Uh, but there are very interesting similarities between Wallace Simpson and Meghan Markle. Now, economist Leith Van Onselen told TGB host Luke Grant that Australian living standards are in terminal decline thanks to rapid immigration and the failing big Australia policy. He said net overseas migration surged higher than its peak from mid last year. It's just another sign that population numbers are out of control and it's coming at the same time as housing construction is collapsing. We only added one home per 4.5 new residents last year. I was speaking about this last week with an economist. The numbers just don't add up. Where are these people going to go? We've already got a housing crisis. Uh, we've got a shortage of rental properties and we've got housing approvals at, uh, what, 10-year lows with, with this massive influx coming in. And that's right, Rita. The net migration last year was over 500,000 migrants coming to into, into Australia. And those figures just at the end there, we're not building enough houses. Uh, we don't have enough stock to house all these people. And as you said, there is a rental crisis. It's very hard to secure uh, rental properties now. So this is just a ticking time bomb. Australia cannot cope with this rising population, rising migration, if we don't have places for people to put their heads under. Well said, Sophie Ellsworth. Thank you for your time this evening. Thank you, Rita.